Hi guys, Ivan here. So uh, if you download Windows 10 test VM from Microsoft for VirtualBox, you may run into a problem and uh, I want to explain the solution for this. So first of all, uh, if you want to run the Windows 10 workstation for VirtualBox, click on the URL and you will get a zip file from Microsoft. If you have VMware, please use the VMware zip. But for this video, we want to use uh, the VirtualBox zip. Next, uh, unzip the VirtualBox uh, zip file uh, in the download folders. And eventually, uh, you will get an OVA file within the folder. As you can see here, uh, next, uh, open uh, VirtualBox and click on Import, uh, Import Appliance and choose the location where you have the OVA file downloaded. Uh, next, um, we want to do some changes to improve performance. Um, so I like to have a little bit more of uh, memory. Uh, I have enough memory on my host computer and I choose uh, two CPUs. You can, so it depends on your hardware. Furthermore, make sure you have the NAT device configured, not bridged, and uh, click on import. Uh, this takes uh, 10, 10 minutes, uh, so we'll speed forward the process. You don't need to wait until it gets fully loaded. So once uh, the import has been finished, you can then run uh, the appliance. And uh, if you just choose the default settings, um, the VMA crashes and will not run, as you can see here. Even if it's from the Microsoft the initial v OVA file, you get this error. You can get, get rid of the error by going to System, into um, the Processor tab and disable the nested VT uh, hypervisor feature. This will uh, a little bit uh, um, decrease the performance of uh, your running VM, but uh, it will then enable you to make it possible to run the virtual machine on your local computer. As being said, the temporary Windows license will last for a couple of days. Um, so I will boot up now the test VM from Microsoft and um, this VM will now last for, I think, 24 days until it license gets expired. Okay, um, it takes a while um, until everything boots up. Um, it's also a little bit forwarded, speed forwarded, so you don't need to wait the whole time. And uh, after a while, you get a login prompt. Uh, it will auto sign in. So the password is uh, you can choose or change the password uh, once the system is up and running. And uh, after a couple of minutes, after the welcome screen of Microsoft, you then have the Windows 10 workstation available. As you can see um, in the uh, lower right corner, Windows license will uh, expire. Um, if, um, if you wait another couple of minutes, then it changes the alert that it will expire in a couple of days, in 24 days. And this is how you can download, install and run a test VM in VirtualBox. Thank you for watching.